The opening day of Rally Liepaja in Latvia and after a frustrating qualifying stage, Georg Linemar would gamble on selecting the first position on the road. Usually a disadvantage with a clear view ahead and leaving hanging dust in his wake, the Estonian's decision would prove a masterstroke. With rain following, Linemar would finish the day in sixth. One of the first drivers to suffer in the dust of the long stage one was Philip Marish, the Czech driver lucky to escape with a small overshoot. Miko Heikola, though, would have his best run since a starring role at round one in Portugal. The Finnish national champion fighting up from seventh to fifth through the Saturday stages. Robert Vives made a stunning start for his best performance to date in the ERC. The 22-year-old reigning junior WRC champion running a fine second early on, only for the relentless pressure at the front to eventually see the Estonian slip back to fourth in the afternoon. Mats Osberg had been second himself early on, only for a frustrating stall in stage three to cost valuable seconds. The Norwegian, though, continuing to run well in his upgraded Citroen, back into third before the day was done. The conditions were so tricky it was no surprise to see the experienced WRC regulars shine. After a cautious start, Hayden Padden was beginning to make his mark. An aggressive succession of top three stage times, compelling the championship leader up from fourth to second. But as was the case last year, the opening day had been all about local hero Martin Sesks. Having won every stage on his home event in 2022, the Skoda driver would maintain that run. Fastest on the first four stages of Saturday, it was once again another dominant display. So at the end of Saturday, Sesk's lead stood at just under half a minute over Padden, with Osberg 8.3 seconds behind the championship leader. Vives in fourth place after his fine run and Hekela up to fifth. The final leg in Latvia and there would soon be warnings to the leading pack that the soggy Sunday conditions would not be easy. Alberto Battistoli caught out on the wet tarmac at the finish of stage eight. This had been a breakthrough event for the reigning junior WRC champion Robert Vives. The 22-year-old Estonian looking good to take fourth place before an unfortunately timed engine misfire on the final stage that saw him slip to fifth. It was still a fine result on only his second full ERC round. It would be Josh McAleon who passed Vives to claim a best ERC finish. The Irishman with Craig Breen's former co-driver James Fulton alongside, claiming an emotional fourth place finish after starting the day in seventh. Mats Osberg had struggled for pace in the muddy morning, reporting understeer and oversteer. There was improvement in the drier second loop, and the Norwegian would do all he could to maintain the pressure on second-placed Hayden Padden. The championship leader had seen his advantage cut to 13 seconds going into the power stage. But for Padden, all was in control. The New Zealander was simply playing it safe in the rutted conditions, and it would be a third consecutive runner-up finish. And there was just no catching the rally leading local hero Martin Sesks for the second year running. The ice cool Latvian had dominated on the super fast stages of his homeland, with another three stage wins out of four on the final day, including taking the power stage by a thousandth for the second. The local fans delighted to see their man top the podium once again. Sesks taking the win this year by just over 41 seconds from Padden, a second podium finish of the season for Osberg, and personal best results for both McAleon and Vives, despite the late drama for the Estonian. In the championship standings after back-to-back -back wins, Sesks has closed the gap to Padden to 30 points, with Osberg still third as we reach the season's midpoint.